But I was talking to the dude, and he says, here, man. He says, I'm going to go in here and cook you a pizza. He cooked me a fucking nice pizza, man. You're going to try to go back, though? That might not work second time around. For me, I'm trying to tell you something. I extra sauce on it. Yeah. Loaded down with fucking sausage, and it was good. Pepperonis. What do you like? I was gonna say, please don't tell me fucking sardines. No, I don't like sardines. I like peppers. You know, a lot of fucking Americans order a fucking anchovy pizza. And they don't even realize you go buy a fucking can of sardines. It's the same fucking thing. There's a hell of these fish on fucking pizzas. But I, want I don't know. It's not there me. There are people that do. And they got the, all the money, too. Man. They used to deliver them, motherfucker. Yeah, I remember you, man. You come by with a big American flag on the back of that Yeah. And I was thinking, either a jarhead or an army dog. Which one? What's a jarhead? Marine. I ain't anything. Huh? I ain't anything. I'm just proud to be an American. How the fuck does an Italian be proud to be a fucking American? Now, explain this to me. I was born in this country. This is my home. Okay, so you're a fucking American. That's what I said. All right, hey, that's cool, man. Hey, I'm just asking, okay? They ask me that shit every fucking day. What's that camp like? Can you, is there a, any place to go swimming or anything? They got showers or anything? No, man. Man, you got that all wrong, dude. It's the woods. Oh, you made a camp. No, there's yeah. a camp up the road a ways that I was going to check out tomorrow and see if I can get cleaned up at. Now you're telling me something. So what are you talking about? Man? There's a place. I, it's a. Uh, it's right off 61. And, it's where 61 and 55 meet. I thought 61 was right there. It is. It runs from there and goes all the way up. Oh, okay. I didn't know it came from. But yeah. I know I've seen it coming up. You know what I mean? Telling me something. You know? But what's happening there, man? That's what I'm getting at, man. What's this point? We brought it up because I thought you already knew about it, and I was asking you. I need to. I need to clean my ass up. Either go swimming or fucking get a shower somewhere. Look, hey, why don't you just go fucking three miles? <laughs> That's three miles into this town. What, the right, Salvation Army? Uh, well, I'm going to tell you two different things. Well, you already know about it? Or I saw it yesterday when I came into town. Yeah, they got a Salvation Army and they got a cop shit. Are you wanted? A what? Wanted? No. Are you American's most wanted? Not yet. Well, I'm America's least one. But anyway, you have to give me your ID. I'm gonna run a check on your ID, and then they're gonna... uh, I don't feel like walking back into town tomorrow. Oh, back into town. So you done been down there? Though. I can't. I told you I got here yesterday, and I came through. All oh, down. so you done been to the Salvation Army? No, I haven't been to any of those places. I just walked by them. I saw them. Uh, well, it's hard to take a bath out there. There ain't no fucking. You know, if there was a river you could jump in, I'm done jumped in there. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, they do. It's Mississippi. <laughs> I was jumped in the Ohio yesterday. I don't hope it ain't that bad, man. What do you mean, yesterday? Where the fuck was you at? The Ohio. The Ohio River. Close to Indiana or some shit? Connects with Mississippi, about. Yeah, know. that's fucking Kentucky, man. I was in Paducah. I walked out of Paducah. Wycliffe. Wycliffe, Kentucky. <laughs> you in the middle of some fucking bad things, buddy. You was out in the country, man. Uh, man, there ain't nothing there. I know, I was just going How the fuck did you end up there, man? I was just camping outside of the town. Oh, you crossed that bridge, didn't you? Damn, man, you got on the wrong highway. Guy gave me a ride. I started to walk across it, but I stuck my thumb out. That's the only time I've ever stuck my thumb out. Because you can't walk across that bridge. Fancy personality 
You keep playing you And I keep playing me Safe within the wall Of all our home security Hey, what are y'all geared up for, man? Uh, like, that's a cool fucking setup. You need to here? How's it going here? Cool. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> like it a lot. Good, good. That's Where awesome. are you walking to? San Francisco. Fuck yep. yeah, dude! What's your name? Let's get an Chris interview John. with this guy, dude. Huh? Chris John. Chris John? I'm yeah. Chris Spellmark. Where are you staying in town? Sure. Fuck yeah! That's <laughs> fucking cool, man! How, when did you start out? New Year's Day. Wow! You want to do a shoot with this? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Fucking cool, rock and roll. Welcome back to The Edge. Interesting little discussion right there. In fact, Chris, amazingly enough, in the studio with us. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks. Uh, tell us a little bit about, well, an interesting little trek that you're on. Uh, start off on the East Coast and you're making your way west. Right. Now you're in St. Louis. Tell us a little bit about, well, what inspired you? Um, I guess it's socially motivated. Um, I had an unsettled feeling, I guess, about the state of the country and I guess the state of my own personal situation. You know, I wasn't happy with the way things were going or affecting me, you know, as I watch the news every day or, you know. Yeah, the news in its own right will kind of get you depressed. But right. So you're out to make some changes. What are some of the things that you've kind of found along the way? Um, well, I think I found that um, I had a preconception about of things that I felt like people didn't care. And um, I guess I found out that it's still true, but there are a few who do, and they seem to make up for the others who don't. And, um, and I don't think it's because people don't want to care. I just think they just haven't made it a priority, or they haven't found uh, the lesson that needed to be taught them. So, so they will see that it's kind of important to care. Hmm. Are there some lessons that you've learned along the way? Um, yeah, I've learned a few lessons, I think. Um, in order to uh, view everyone unconditionally, I need to know what I need to do for myself in order to not see anyone else as a, um, a symptom of my own problems rather than, uh, like, it's easy to point a finger at someone else and say, like, they're making me unhappy or they're causing me to <clears throat> feel a certain way when it's not true. You're the source of your own problems, and that's what I think I've learned, you know. What do they do with you, uh, the coffee crew? Uh... They asked me if I liked coffee, and I wasn't sure why. <laughs> and then, uh, How do you like St. Louis? Um, I think as far as experiencing each city at a time, a, a big part of it is introduction to the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've had a pretty good one today, so... I hope we've helped a little. Yeah, I can't really complain. What are you writing there in your little, your um, little book? I just keep myself up to date on the things I've learned in the last couple of days. And, uh -huh trying to re-answer the same question I always get asked, why am I walking? So, my life, my, just why writing down Why are you walking? <laughs> well, an interesting mission altogether. We wish you good luck, nice. and I'll tell you, anytime, if you're walking around uh, in St. Louis, come by and visit us again. Definitely. Send us a postcard. <laughs>